time back in a debate in the Tinwald Court, it became clear that the Summerland building was to be demolished. And on that occasion, um, I made a speech, which in one sense um, I regretted immediately, because uh, the minister stood up and said, yes, if there's to be a, a service, you're to run it. Um, but here we are this afternoon. Before we begin, may I thank you for coming here on this blustery afternoon to be part of an important part of the island's history as we mark the demolition of one building and the visible memory of an incredible and disastrous event in the history of the Isle of Man. You turn to the first page of your order of service. With the demolition of the building known as Summerland, a sad chapter in the life of our island comes to an end. We are come together today to remember before God the events of some 30 years ago. We call to mind the 49 people who lost their lives in the fire of the 2nd of August 1973. We remember the further 80 people who were seriously injured. We pray for those who still mourn the loss of a family member or a loved friend. We pray for those whose lives were changed beyond all recognition by the events of that day. Terrible. Um, I was okay actually doing my job with the fire service, but um, when I went home the night time, it was... Um, I had young children and they were in, in bed at the time, you know, and I used to fall apart at night time. Sorry about this, I can't, it's very emotional. Um, it was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. Um, like I say, we were involved in, I was involved in about three days um, tidying up. That's all I would like to describe it as. I think it's very important with the demolition of what remained of Summerland to mark and in a way form a closure for what was in fact um, a traumatic part of the Isle of Man's history. And, and do you think it's going to get much support? Is, is, it, is it a thing to do to bring up memories? Um, I think it's important to address memories, whether to bring them up or to lay them to rest or, or to give them some sort of veracity. I think what has happened here is that the Summerland wasn't demolished immediately after the fire, indeed work was done on it, and now it's suddenly gone, there's a, a big open space here, and I think as far as memory is concerned it's important to mark the end of one bit of our history and the beginning of another bit.